Hello everyone and welcome to another what I got from my birthday sort of video. I'm pointing at a blank spot because you can pretty much guess that I've got things set up side to side here at the start. It's a kicking it old school t-shirt. <laughs> You know, I do have to wonder sometimes how many turtle shells I have kicked over the years in the Mario games. We may never know. Next up, feel the burn. Also makes me wonder how many fireballs I've, <laughs> I've thrown as well, but that's another thing. And yeah, another t-shirt there. We're Bob Rossing it up now. Ever make mistakes in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah, they're birds now. <laughs> And over here, a big old Bob Ross poster. Yeah, basically I set up the stuff on the ground first ahead of time because this is the largest stuff. And it's kind of hard to get this sort of stuff in frame. So, yeah, I decided, eh, let's do the first four things here while they're on the ground nice and flat and then set up on the bed as usual. Just like this, only, well, this is still kind of not... Yeah, it doesn't really fit in the frame unless I tilt it, but still, but still. <laughs> so, a Dial Ultimate Men's Collection of all sorts of body care products. I really think they're telling me I stink. <laughs> This one too, the paint by sticker book doesn't quite fit in the widescreen frame, but yeah, it's this is something I used to do as a kid actually, so I thought, ah, it would be interesting to give him one with much more intricate type designs. Only the one that I had as a kid, well I should say the ones that I had as a kid, were like um cut up pictures and then you would stick them together. Uh, you know, like, there are sh shuffled stickers. Let's see if I can get a sticker sheet. Like, like something like this, only they were in a grid. And they would be, uh, like, all scattered around there. And you'd be able to see the picture, what it's like after you're done uh, putting them in with the numbers and stuff like that. They were pretty dang neat. But this one looks even neater, <laughs> I must say. Yep, it's a Dr. Robotnik slash Eggman plush. <laughs> Was not expecting this whatsoever, but it is awesome. Uh, just give you a little peek -see at the tagsy and whatnot, just like warnings and stuff. Made by Takara Tommy. And yeah, if you didn't know the uh, reason for the name switch. His original name in Jap Japan was Eggman, but it was Dr. Robotnik in the US and other places, but then he eventually switched back over to Eggman to make it more consistent throughout, I guess. <laughs> so, I, I though consider him both. Like, maybe Robotnik is a nickname and Eggman is the real name. <laughs> But yeah, if you say one or the other, people will know what you're talking about. He is a famous and lovable baddie with goggles. <laughs> More Sonic, because we're getting into the game that's Sonic Mania! Oh yes, this game is so good. This is the one that I've been waiting for for many, many years. And technically, it's not even made by Sega. <laughs> <laughs> comes with, I mean, well, it's Sonic Mania Plus, and the Plus version comes with this special art book, along with all sorts of, like, history as to how this game came to be and whatnot. It was a pitch to Sega from an indie developer and whatnot. It, it is... This game, as I said, is the one. It's the chosen one that Sonic fans have truly been waiting for. <laughs> This is more towards the style of the Sonic um, 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, plus Sonic CD. Uh, namely because there's actually those sorts of levels in there, but heavily remixed. Although they do keep some of their signature elements, like the Chemical Plant Zone uh, vertical underwater climbing segment with the blocks. But I don't want to spoil too much of it. Just basically it is a fantastic return to the original Sonic formula, and I highly, highly recommend it if you like side-scrollers or Sonic games in general. Next up, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe! 
It seemed like they balanced it out a whole lot better than other Mario Kart games in recent days, so I decided to get this one, and I am not disappointed thus far. I haven't played the, through all the tracks or all the CCs yet, though, so I could change my tune on that later, but as of right now, I am quite happy with this bad boy. Well, I guess now that I think about it, I don't have to play the higher CCs if I hate them that badly. <laughs> Anyway, next game, Ever Oasis. This is a rather interesting, I guess you could say, sort of like adventure slash world building sort of kind of game. And that you start out with an oasis basically that has nothing and you get you attract other people into there, which become your allies or shopkeepers or even your fighting partners and stuff like that. And you can explore the world with them and their different abilities allows you to get through different obstacles and puzzles and stuff like that. So basically the more you play the game and the, the more characters you get in your oasis the more you can expand your horizons looking for stuff. It's a really cool concept, and I look forward to beating this fully. Well, eventually. It looks like it's going to be a pretty long game, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I like my long games. Alright, one I haven't played yet here is Kirby Star Allies. Still shrink-wrapped and everything like that. I heard it's a really, really easy game. Uh, but people say that a lot about Kirby games, and then when I, when they ever, whenever they try to 100% them, then they start tearing their hair out. <laughs> because it's one of those sorts of games, like Yoshi's Story or Yoshi's Island, and that it's easy to just complete, but it could be much, much harder if you're going for everything. So needless to say, you know, I'll be going for everything anyway, but. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if it's hard or easy or anything like that, just as long as it's fun. And Kirby games, they all seem to have that sort of reputation of being fun because they are pretty dang fun. <laughs> and I don't, a game doesn't have to be hard to be fun or anything like that. It's just, it just gotta be well designed. It's gotta play fun, gotta be creative and stuff like that. So yeah, I look forward to checking it out. Yeah, another game I haven't played yet that's still shrink-wrapped, Chrono Trigger Remake on the DS. Yeah, I was a little bit, I was a little bit, uh, iffy about this one in my thoughts, but I thought, eh, I'll give Square Enix another chance. Because usually when Square makes an RPG, it's really grind-heavy, and <laughs> I really, really hate that, but this... But this one seems to get rave reviews, and people say it's not that grind heavier or anything like that, so I thought, eh, I'll, I'll give it a try, I'll, I'll give Square Enix another shot and see how things go, and, well, I'll report back to you, <laughs> probably somewhere in the future. Some people consider that to be the greatest RPG of all time, actually, but, eh, mm, mm, I'll see for myself. <laughs> Alright, the final thing is... Oh man, it's an SNES classic! Yep, they're back into production. They aren't anywhere close to as rare as they were before, and... Oh, it is very nice. Everything that I've played thus far seems very accurate to its original source material, and I have extensively tested it. <laughs> You know, I experimenting with all sorts of physics and, and whatnot like that. I went through Super Mario World 100%, for example, to see how it is. Everything played wonderfully, exactly how I remember it, and everything else that I uh, tried out here played exactly as I remember it. And of course, I didn't get it just to g play games that I played before, though, of course. Super Mario World is just, you know, it's rather short, so I just went through it really quick. Well, I, I should say it's short if you know where everything is 100% wise, but the main thing that I got it for was because it's got a uh, whole host of games that I have never played before on here. Let's see if I can get that in. Yeah, there we go. I'm squishing down the bed so you can see that. It's probably shaking a little bit though, but <laughs> yeah, like 12 of these games I've never played before or so, so that will be interesting to go through those, see how they are and whatnot. It's It's got a really solid collection of games in general though, so chances are there is going to be something that you will like on this game list. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend it. And this little system, I got it over here out of the package, I've, you know, I've obviously played it. It's tiny! So tiny and cute! <laughs> yup. 
look at that. Of course, you know, this this sort of door doesn't open, the eject button doesn't work, uh, but in the control ports, these aren't actual control, control ports that you plug the controller into. It's, yeah, they go like that. Um, there is a slight, slight problem, though, with it, and that is controller itself. Well, I mean, the controller is good. It's, it's, but well, technically it's actually bigger than the system a little bit. <laughs> Well, the thing about that is, it, it, you know, it's a genuine controller. It feels exactly like the original SNES controller, maybe a bit more textured in feel. But look how short this cord is. It's apparently worse in the uh, NES Classic, though. <laughs> and that's it. It's, it's apparently like five feet or something like that. I, I didn't measure it myself, but yeah, she goes in there and... Uh, yeah, it's that that that's all you get. So you gotta really stretch this thing out from the its HDMI cord and power cord to its max if you're sitting a decent amount of space away from the room. <laughs> or get cable extenders, that's another option, but you know that's it's extra money and whatnot that you know it, it should be longer to begin with IMO. <laughs> oh and uh some people said that the L and R buttons on this are not authentic to the original. I would disagree with that. Here's mine. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this controller is a little bit glossier, like in general, because I I've played it a lot, and I I think it was a lot more textured when I got it. You know, I just you just wear off the texture as you continue to play it. Like this is the spot that's well, maybe it is a little bit more textured on the new one. Yeah, maybe it is a little bit more, but. Uh, some people thought that the L and R buttons, they didn't look like their own. Well, there's actually a revision to the controller, which might be like it, but this is, I mean, which might be why people thought that, but this is more like the original style of the L and R button uh, look and whatnot. But yeah, aside from the texture, it is exactly the same, feels exactly the same, and yeah, it is very nice, only the, you know, SNS original controller cord, much, much longer. <laughs> So, yeah, I think I'm going to pick up some controller extenders, probably, unless I can figure out a uh, l better setup for that. I could slide my whole bed over and sit on, <laughs> sit on it that way. That would work fine, I suppose, but, you know, you obviously you shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> but, anyway, that is all I got for my birthday. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Actually, wait, I forgot one more thing. $50 Amazon gift card so I can pick whatever I want from the millions and millions of items that are on there. Well, as long as it's under 50. <laughs> Woo!